we're about to embark on a visual journey, a dopamine rush straight to your eyeballs as we dive into the 25 most beautiful places this country has to offer. From coast to coast, deserts to mountains, bustling cities to peaceful escapes, the USA is a freaking tapestry of awe-inspiring landscapes and iconic landmarks. We're talking bucket list destinations, places that'll make you want to chuck your phone, grab your backpack, and just disappear into the scenery. And trust me, I've been to some incredible places around the world, but there's something about the raw beauty and diversity of this country that just hits different. So buckle up, because we're about to dive headfirst into the heart of it all. Get ready to be amazed. First up, we're heading straight into the heart of Arizona, to a place that needs no introduction, the Grand Canyon. This is not just a hole in the ground, people. A 277 mile long, 18 mile wide chasm carved out over millions of years by the mighty Colorado River. Layers of colorful rock formations, cliffs that disappear into the horizon, hike, raft, or just stand at the rim and let the sheer scale wash over you. Pictures don't do it justice. Feel the wind in your hair, the sun on your face. It's humbling, it's awe-inspiring, it's the Grand Freakin' Canyon. We're heading north to Wyoming, to a place where the Earth literally breathes. Yellowstone National Park. A geothermal wonderland with more geysers and hot springs than anywhere else on the planet. Imagine walking through a forest and suddenly, BAM! A geyser erupts. That's Yellowstone, where the Earth's raw power is on full display. Home to grizzly bears, wolves, elk and bison. Add Yellowstone to your list for an unforgettable adventure. Yosemite! It's like stepping into a postcard, but a thousand times more epic! Towering granite cliffs, man, they just pierce the sky. You feel small, but in a good way, you know? Humbled? And the waterfalls? Don't even get me started. Yosemite Falls, that thing's a monster. You hear it roaring before you even see it, this deafening symphony of nature. It's like the whole valley's wired for surround sound. And hiking those trails, it's like you're walking through time. Every step, every turn, there's another mind-blowing view. You're surrounded by millions of years of history carved in stone. Seriously, Yosemite is a must-see. It's more than just a park, it's an experience. It'll stay with you long after you leave. Trust me on this one. Maui, guys. This place is the definition of paradise. We're talking crystal clear waters, beaches that stretch forever, and sunsets that'll melt your Instagram feed. But Maui's not just about lounging on the sand, although that's definitely a good chunk of it. Rent a car, roll the windows down and just drive. The road to Hana, winding roads, lush forests, waterfalls cascading down cliffs. It's like driving through a postcard. And the food! Fresh pineapple, poke bowls overflowing with goodness, shave ice that's like eating a rainbow. Your taste buds won't know what hit them. Maui is all about slowing down, soaking it all in, and just appreciating the beauty around you. It's the kind of place that recharges your soul, you know? New York City. The energy here, man, it's electric. Eight million people all crammed onto this island, hustling, dreaming, making things happen. It's contagious. Times Square at night with the billboards blazing, it's sensory overload in the best way possible. You got the Empire State Building, this towering symbol of ambition, and Central Park, a green oasis in the middle of all the chaos. But New York's more than just landmarks, right? It's about the people, the neighborhoods, the endless possibilities. You can walk down one street and find a Michelin star restaurant, and then the next block, you're grabbing a slice of the best pizza you've ever had. New York's a whirlwind, a constant adventure. It'll chew you up and spit you out if you let it, but it'll also push you to be your best self. It's a city that never sleeps, and trust me, once you've tasted that energy, you won't want to either. We're heading west, people, to the city by the bay, San Francisco. You know this place, even if you haven't been here. It's iconic. And yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge, that big orange beauty, is the first thing that comes to mind. 
You gotta see it in person though. Pictures don't do it justice. But San Fran is more than just a pretty bridge. It's got this energy, this vibe that's hard to explain. Maybe it's the tech scene, all those startups and dreamers trying to change the world. Maybe it's the hills, those steep streets that make you feel like you're on a roller coaster. Or maybe it's the food. Seriously, the food scene here is off the hook. From Michelin-starred restaurants to hole-in-the-wall dim sum joints, San Francisco's got it all. And don't even get me started on the sourdough bread. It's like biting into a fluffy cloud. Trust me, San Francisco is a trip, man. It's a city that gets under your skin and stays with you long after you leave. Next up, we're hitting up Sin City, baby, Las Vegas. This place is like nowhere else on earth. It's a 24-7 sensory overload, a neon-drenched playground for adults. And yeah, it's known for its casinos, its shows, its parties that never seem to end. But even if gambling isn't your thing, there's something for everyone in Vegas. World-class restaurants, mind-blowing magic shows, concerts from the biggest names in music. You name it, they got it. And let's be real, the people watching in Vegas is top-notch. Where else can you see Elvis impersonators, bachelorette parties and high rollers all in one place? Look, Vegas is all about letting loose, having a good time and maybe winning big. It's about escaping reality for a little bit and embracing the over-the-top, in-your-face energy that this city is known for. Just remember what they say. What happens in Vegas? Well, you know the rest. Alright, let's switch gears and head down south to Miami. This place is all about that sunshine, those beaches and that unmistakable Latin flavor. It's a city that pulsates with energy, from the vibrant murals of Wynwood to the salsa beats spilling out of little Havana's cafes. Miami's got a rhythm all its own. You feel it as you cruise down Ocean Drive, Art Deco buildings bathed in pastel hues, vintage cars gleaming in the sun. It's in the air as you sip a cafecito cubano, the sweet aroma mixing with the salty ocean breeze. And it's definitely on the dance floor, where the night comes alive with a mix of Latin rhythms, electronic beats, and pure, unadulterated fun. But Miami's beauty goes beyond its beaches. Explore the Everglades, a vast and unique ecosystem, or wander through the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, a stunning Italian Renaissance-style villa. Miami's a city of contrasts, a melting pot of cultures, and a place where you can always find your own rhythm. All right, we're hitting up the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., a city bursting with history. Iconic monuments and museums are everywhere. Pay respects to the Founding Fathers, Lincoln Memorial, Washington Monument, Jefferson Memorial. They represent the ideals this country was built on. The Smithsonian Museums are legendary and free. D.C. is a melting pot of cultures reflected in its amazing food. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. This city holds a special place in my heart. It's got this raw energy, this gritty charm that you don't find anywhere else. Maybe it's the wind whipping off Lake Michigan. Or maybe it's the city's history as a hub for industry and innovation. Speaking of Lake Michigan, that skyline is something else. Those towering skyscrapers, each one with its own unique design, it's like a testament to human ingenuity. And the best part is, you can hop on a boat tour and see it all from the water. Trust me, it's a whole different perspective. But Chicago's beauty goes beyond its architecture. This city is a cultural powerhouse. The Art Institute of Chicago is world-renowned, and the music scene is off the charts. From blues to jazz to house music, Chicago's got it all. And let's not forget the food. Deep dish pizza, Chicago-style hot dogs, Italian beef sandwiches. This city knows how to eat. So come hungry and be prepared to loosen your belt a notch or two. All right, buckle up because we're heading to the City of Angels, Los Angeles. This sprawling metropolis is a wild mix of everything. Beaches, mountains, Hollywood glamour, and a laid-back California vibe. You can't talk about LA without mentioning Hollywood. Walk the walk of fame, visit iconic filming locations, maybe even spot a celebrity or two. But LA is more than just Hollywood. It's also a beach bum's paradise. Surf, sunbathe, people watch, and if you're looking for some culture, Louisiana's got you covered. 
the Griffith Observatory offers stunning views of the city and the stars. Alright, we're hitting up Orlando, the land of Mickey Mouse ears and Butterbeer moustaches. You know it's all about the theme parks here, and trust me, they don't disappoint. We're talking Disney World, Universal Studios, Epcot places, where you can literally ride a rocket to space one minute and then chug down a duff beer with Homer Simpson the next. But Orlando isn't just about manufactured thrills. It's got this cool, eclectic vibe with awesome restaurants, hidden bars, and even some surprisingly beautiful nature trails if you know where to look. So yeah, Orlando, buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Seattle, man. This place is like the cool older brother who's always got a good coffee brewing and a story to tell. You look around and there's this energy, this constant hum of creativity, whether it's the music scene, the tech world, or just the dude on the street corner making balloon animals. First things first, you gotta hit up Pike Place Market. It's this explosion of sounds and smells, with fresh fish flying through the air, street performers blowing your mind, and enough local produce to feed a small army. And then there's the Space Needle, piercing the sky like a giant sewing needle. You hop in that elevator, head up top, and bam panoramic views of the city, the Puget Sound, and Mount Rainier looming in the distance. Seattle's a city that gets under your skin. It's got this gritty charm, this undeniable beauty, and a spirit that just makes you want to grab a coffee, throw on a hoodie, and explore every inch of it. Boston dude! We're talking cobblestone streets, brownstone buildings, history echoing around every corner. This is where it all went down. Man, the American Revolution, the birth of a nation. You can practically hear the founding fathers whispering secrets in the wind. You walk the Freedom Trail past Faneuil Hall, Paul Revere's house. All these places you read about in history books. And it's like stepping back in time. And the best part, you can literally stumble upon history here. But Boston isn't stuck in the past. It's a city of contrasts, with cutting-edge innovation happening alongside centuries-old traditions. You got Harvard, MIT, some of the brightest minds in the world, just down the street from dive bars where you can grab a beer with a guy who's been coming there for 50 years. Boston's a city that makes you think, makes you feel, makes you want to grab a history book and then go have a beer with a local and argue about the finer points of the American Revolution. All right, guys, buckle up because we're about to dive into New Orleans a city that pulsates with an energy like nowhere else. This is the birthplace of jazz, a city that celebrates life with every fiber of its being. When you think of New Orleans, you think of Mardi Gras, but honestly, every day feels like a celebration in this town. And the food, man, don't even get me started on the food. Gumbo, jambalaya, beignets, your taste buds are in for an absolute explosion. But beyond the party atmosphere, New Orleans has a soul, a resilience that shines through. It's in the music, the food, the way they welcome you with open arms. We're heading west to Denver, the mile-high city. Denver blends urban cool with outdoor adventure. Breathtaking Rocky Mountain views in your backyard. Hike in the morning, sip craft beer by afternoon and catch a concert by night. Denver has this energy, this drive to do it all. It's a young city full of creatives and entrepreneurs. One thing I love is the focus on sustainability. Bike paths everywhere, green spaces integrated into the city, and a commitment to preserving the environment. But it's not all go, go, go. Denver also knows how to chill. Explore the art scene in the Rhino District. Work hard, play hard, surrounded by natural beauty. All right, we're trading the mountains for the Pacific Ocean as we head to San Diego, California. This city is basically what dreams are made of. Perfect weather year-round miles of pristine beaches and a laid-back vibe that instantly puts you in vacation mode. San Diego is all about that outdoor lifestyle. Surfing, kayaking, hiking, you name it, they've got it. But it's not just about the beach, though it's definitely a big part of it. San Diego has a rich history and a vibrant cultural scene. You can explore the historic gas lamp quarter, get lost in the world-famous San Diego Zoo, or catch a Padres game in the heart of the city. And let's not forget about the food. From fresh seafood to authentic Mexican cuisine. 
San Diego's culinary scene is as diverse and exciting as the city itself. Honestly, what's not to love? All right, we're headed to the birthplace of America, Philadelphia. This city's got this insane energy, this vibe that's impossible to ignore. You walk these streets and you can practically feel the history oozing out of the brickwork. First stop, Independence Hall. This ain't just some random historical building, people. This is where the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were signed. Talk about a serious reality check. It's like stepping back in time, you know? You can practically hear the Founding Fathers arguing over every word. And yo, speaking of American icons, you can't miss the Liberty Bell. Sure, it's cracked, but that's what makes it so real, so human. It's a symbol of freedom, and it's right there for you to see up close and personal. Gets you right in the feels, man. But Philly ain't just about the past. This city's got a pulse, a heartbeat that'll blow you away. From the murals on every street corner to the cheesesteaks that'll change your life, Philly's got something for everyone. Trust me on this. Next stop, Austin, Texas. This city is like a shot of adrenaline straight to the heart of America. It's got this energy, this vibe, that's impossible to describe. You just gotta feel it. And the music scene here? Forget about it. It's off the charts. From blues to rock to country, Austin's got it all. You can catch a show any night of the week, any time of year. And I'm not talking about some small-time gigs either. We're talking big names, up-and-comers, the real deal. But it's not just the music. Austin's got this incredible food scene too. Food trucks everywhere, man. And I'm not talking about your average hot dog stand. We're talking gourmet tacos, barbecue that'll melt in your mouth and everything in between. And the people. Man, the people in Austin are something else. They're friendly, they're open-minded, and they know how to have a good time. It's contagious, I'm telling you. You spend five minutes in Austin and you'll be smiling ear to ear. All right, folks, buckle up because we're headed to Nashville, Tennessee, the heart and soul of country music. This city thrums with a rhythm all its own. It's in the air you breathe, the sidewalks you walk on, pure, unadulterated energy. And let's talk about the music. It's everywhere. We're talking honky-tonks on every corner, legendary recording studios, and street performers who'll blow you away with their talent. This is where country music legends are made, people. You can feel the history in every guitar riff, every drum beat. But Nashville's not just about country music. This city's got soul. And I'm not just talking about the music. From the incredible food scene, hot chicken, anyone, to the vibrant art and culture. Nashville's got something for everyone. And the people, man, they're some of the friendliest you'll ever meet. Southern hospitality is alive and well in Nashville. It's like everyone's part of one big family and you're instantly welcomed with open arms. You just got to experience it to believe it. All right, we're heading to the Pacific Northwest to a city that's basically synonymous with indie music, craft breweries, and enough flannel to clothe a small country. That's right, we're talking Portland, Oregon. First up, you got to check out Forest Park. It's one of the largest urban forests in the US and it's right in the city limits. And then there's the food scene. Portland takes its food seriously, especially when it comes to coffee. Seriously, you can't walk a block without tripping over a pour over coffee shop. Don't even get me started on the food trucks. Portland is like the food truck capital of the world. Portland is just one of those cities that feels alive. You just got to experience it for yourself. All right, let's head south to Savannah, Georgia. This city is like stepping back in time with its cobblestone streets, antebellum architecture and Spanish moss draped trees. Seriously, it's like something out of a movie set. Wander through the historic district, pop into antique shops and grab a coffee at a sidewalk cafe. From the hauntingly beautiful Bonaventure Cemetery to the Mercer Williams House Museum, Savannah knows how to do Southern comfort food right. Shrimp and grits, fried chicken, peach cobbler, all with Southern hospitality and charm. Let's head over to Charleston, South Carolina. It's like Savannah's refined older sister. Historic architecture, cobblestone streets, and Southern hospitality. Charleston is meant to be explored on foot, wander through the French Quarter, admire Rainbow Row, and stroll along the Battery. From Fort Sumter to the Old City Market, Charleston takes its food seriously. 
get ready for delicious seafood and classic southern dishes. Charleston, where history and hospitality collide. All right, we're on to number 24, and guys, this one's special. We're talking Sedona, Arizona. Imagine this. You're surrounded by these massive red rock formations. The energy here is different, you know? It's buzzing with creative spiritual energy. People come from all over the world to meditate, do yoga, hike those red rocks. And trust me, you don't have to be a crystal-carrying yogi to appreciate it. There's this quiet intensity to the place, a sense of something bigger than yourself. It's one of those places that stays with you long after you leave. Buckle up, we're heading north to Glacier National Park in Montana. This place is straight out of a really epic postcard. Jagged peaks, pristine lakes, glaciers and waterfalls. It's the kind of place that makes you want to grab a backpack and disappear into the wilderness. The best way to experience it? Hiking. Over 700 miles of trails, from easy strolls to hardcore climbs, hike to hidden waterfalls, panoramic vistas and spot wildlife. But seriously, be bear aware. Safety first, epic view second. It's not just about the scenery, it's about the feeling. Being immersed in nature, surrounded by something bigger and older. It's humbling, exhilarating, a must experience. Put Glacier National Park on your bucket list. Trust me on this one. And there you have it. 25 of the most beautiful places to visit in the USA. From towering red rocks to breathtaking glaciers, this country is packed with incredible destinations just waiting to be explored. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. There are so many other amazing places out there, hidden gems just waiting to be discovered. So get out there, explore, have an adventure. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming adventures. And let me know in the comments what your favorite spot was. And hey, maybe I'll see you out there on the open road. Peace.